get sassy? Oh! <laughs> That's my own version of that song. I don't even know what it's called, but I like to sing it. How you like it, sassy? Oh! <laughs> pounds and kept it off for six years at my heaviest I weighed 245 pounds and I knew I needed to lose weight because I was getting massive health problems like sleep apnea and plantar fasciitis so bad I could barely walk but I was so overwhelmed and I, I didn't really know what to do I had tried for years to lose the weight and I failed so I knew okay I'm a planny person what if I put some sort of routine in place some sort of simple things that I could do every single night to set myself up for success the next day. It worked. So today I'm gonna share with you five things I do every night for no fail weight loss. Not only did these five things that I do every night help me lose 130 pounds, it also helped Sassy lose 130 pounds. We've kept the weight off for six years and now I still use the same nighttime routine to get in even better shape and I'm fitting in my first size five and first size small ever. Whoa. What? And I'm even starting to get little things. Little, what are these? Ab lines. 11 lines? 11 lines. Like, you know what I really like is your hair tie matches your shirt. Matchy girl. Okay, the first one. Fill up my water jug. So. This is the one I use. I get this at Walmart. It is about $4 in Canada. It fits four small bottles of water or your typical eight, eight ounce glasses that you're supposed to have every day. Wind, woo! <laughs> <laughs> um, why I do this the night before is because if I don't have a water jug and I go to my job or I go somewhere, do chores, and I don't have my water, I'm not gonna drink it. If I don't drink it, I'm not gonna be hydrated, my body's not gonna function properly, and if you don't drink it with your meals, when you drink water with your meals, it fills you up faster. Also, if you're dehydrated, your body sends you signals that you're hungry. Sounds everywhere, sorry guys. Oh, it stopped. Your body sends you signals that you're hungry. So if you're hydrated, you're less likely to get those hungry signals because you have enough water and you're less likely to overeat that way. See, this is why I really married Nicole because Nicole is a very planny person, like she said. I'm last minute Charlie. So when you wake up you have no and you have nothing prepared, even your water can be that slight little setback that throws off your whole day because you're not starting off with one of the most important things. And another thing, we don't do it now, but we had to do it in the beginning to help us set, set ourselves up for success. We also put one of those small bottles of water in the bathroom um, because when we would get up in the morning, we would do it at night, and when we would get up in the morning, we would wash our face, brush our teeth, and make sure that we did not leave the bathroom until we drank that first bottle of water. That assured already that we were getting some water in for the day because we were really bad at drinking water in the beginning. And then having the jug prepped and ready to go were like no excuses. You take it with you and away you go. And I can't tell you the real reason Nicole married me because it's PG for YouTube. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I all like it, Sassy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that made me laugh. Okay, the next thing I do, make my lunch every night because if I leave it till the next morning, I'm not doing it. See, and last, then I'm gonna eat fast food or eat something I don't want. Last minute Charlie's go, but I'm not drinking that water tonight. Why do I need it? But I'm not eating lunch right now. It's 11 o'clock at night. Well, tomorrow you're gonna want lunch last minute, Charlie. You're gonna be hungry and if you don't have lunch, you're gonna be munching stuff you don't want to. And I did that because I wanted to rhyme lunch and munch, okay? <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> so this is my lunch pail. 
Um, and I ha I do actually have my lunch ready to show you. So I've got everything ready for a turkey wrap, and I also like to have a diet pop for a treat. So that is ready to go, there's no excuses. I take my lunch, my water, and I am staying on track. Got more stuff down here. Yes, because don't show them, this is a surprise. Oh, sorry. Sassy, this sorry. is the big company. They just got a preview. No, they can't see it, it's a surprise. Okay, the next thing that I do, I set my alarm for cardio, and I'm gonna show you. I actually set two. I set one on the phone, and then I set one on the alarm by our bed. The reason I do this is because I, I do love cardio now. I didn't in the beginning, it was like a chore, but if I don't do it in the morning, by the time I do all our chores, um, we, you know, we film videos for you guys, I do my other job, I'm tired. So if I don't do my cardio in the morning, probably not gonna wanna do it. So I set my alarm an hour earlier than normal so that I can do my cardio. And I have two alarms because if I don't wake up for the first one, the next one goes, Nicole, do your cardio, buddy. And I have three alarms. Nicole's first two alarms and then Nicole. <laughs> Shakes me. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, sassy. Oh, so um, this is my alarm is set for 5:30 for tomorrow, so that I do my cardio and get it done, and no excuses. And actually, my other one's set for 5:30. This one's set for 5:35, as you can see. You know why Michael Hearn is cooler than you? Why? Because he gets up at four. That is true. He does get up at four. He also has cooler hair than I do. He rides oh, horses cooler than you. Too. He, yeah, I don't ride horses, but um, with your shirt off. Oh yeah, no. Well, that would be really not PG for YouTube for me. So uh, the other thing that I do when I set my alarm for cardio, we also disappear from the camera. We also have set our timer on the coffee maker. We bought a coffee maker from Walmart that has a timer on it so that we can set it for five. 30 so that by the time I wash my face get down um, you know and get the coffee it's ready to go because I like to drink coffee before I do cardio so if the coffee's made and my alarm's set I'm already on my way I got my water my coffee the caffeine and the coffee it also helps me sweat and I like sweating for cardio I'm ready to go no excuse coffee's ready because it's set and prep the night before. I know you guys are like, this is weird. I'm putting coffee in the maker and it's not, I'm not drinking. Well, setting us up for success. Planning ahead, genius. The next thing I do, I already showed you my lunch. I also prep my breakfast. And this is just French toast and Greek yogurt and a protein bar. I don't have fruit in here because it's grocery day. Um, so the fruit needs to, we're going groceries after this. So I'll put fruit in there after. Um, if I don't have my breakfast prepped, I won't eat breakfast, and that will then set me up for failure for the rest of the day, because be, be by the time I get home, I'm gonna be so hungry, because I didn't eat breakfast, it's gonna set me up for failure. So I always make sure my breakfast is prepped, I drink my coffee, eat my breakfast, drink my water, do my cardio, I have no excuse, because it's all ready to go. And like I, I fought Nicole about the planning stuff, but it's not actually that much. It's just a little bit of planning can set up your entire day. These Lynn, things don't take long. It doesn't, because you know what I do while our dinner's cooking, um, I actually get my breakfast and my lunch prepped at the same time because dinner has to cook for at least ten minutes. We make it like a quick dinner. So for 10 minutes, I prep that stuff, it's done. The coffee takes two minutes, well, not even, to set and whatever. Um, and then the other, and the water jug. And then the last thing that I do. Want to hear a slogan I invented for what? my future products that what? I'm going to release? What's your slogan? Set it and forget it. I hope it's not taken already. <laughs> you might be out of luck there, so. <laughs> Maybe I heard it somewhere else. Maybe. <laughs> Just like, how you like it, sassy? Oh! <laughs> okay. I've been making him laugh with that for about two weeks now. Yeah. <laughs> the last thing I do is I set my workout clothes. Oh my gosh, they're full of grass. I from... wonder why. <laughs> Maybe because I put things on the ground. Yeah, probably but that reason. I set my workout clothes with the shoes. Workout clothes and shoes and I put my socks in there for the next day. Why? So I have no excuse. The socks and everything I put as right in the bathroom, no excuse. My clothes are there. Put them on, Nicole. 
this is what you're putting on to go do your cardio and eat your breakfast we that's as, already done. We as humans look for every excuse in the book not to do things. So that's literally it. The five things, they're super simple, they're really quick to do, and it's no fail. Every time I do this, I do not fail. I go on track every single day because I set everything up for success the night before. I think a bee climbed up my sleeve. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the friend, that is it. Simple things. Even if you're not ready, we combined these nighttime routine things with portion control and walking. It helped us lose the 30 it helped us lose 50 pounds in three months. Our first 50 pounds in three months because we had so much weight to lose that this set us up for success and then went on to lose the total of 130 pounds and kept it off for six years using this. And we still do it. And I, like I said, well, you've seen it. This is all for tomorrow. I'm already set up. And you guys help me do it sooner than the nighttime. And in the beginning, like Nicole was saying, you might have to force yourself, but once you get into the habit, it will feel like you've done it your whole life. We've been doing it forever now and it's just like cardio because we had to do it until it felt right. Now this nighttime routine feels like part of my day. Like today, me and Nicole on Wednesday night, we have to remind each other not to do cardio on Thursday morning because it's leg day and it's the only day we don't, but it feels weird not to do cardio. It does because it's become such a part of our life. So if you keep setting up routines and con doing consistent things, it really is about consistency, it will become a part of your life. It will feel like you've always done it. And if you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we got two weight loss guides. Links are down below. Exact, I got a drop of this stuff. Exact <laughs> meal plans, exact portions, family friendly recipes. You name it, it's all in there. Or you can watch these two videos for free and learn even more about how to love your food and do simple things to enjoy your journey and lose the weight and meet all your goals. That was like a really out of key, off key angel. All right, the friend. Now we're gonna lawn more out. Rawr, rawr, rawr. And we're gonna wear these shoes on our hands and and and, and go like like this, walking. That was instead of shaking my beam today. This is a beam PG for YouTube. But now I'll do this. Shake my beam with my shoes on my hands and do do do. Blah, 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 blah. Can I ask you a question before we leave? Yeah. Did you eat a lot of paint chips as a kid? Maybe you think maybe I might have ate this by the spoon out the grounds like um mm, it smells good in there. <laughs> okay, see you guys, we gotta Bye, guys. go now. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.